In today's podcast episode, we will take an in-depth look at how we can become stronger and more resilient in the face of rejection and failure, and how we can use these challenges to our advantage. Rejection can often frustrate us and push us to despair. But let us not forget that every challenge is actually an opportunity to discover the potential within us. In this episode, in light of Islamic teachings, we will discuss how we can manage and even turn these processes to our advantage through patience, self-evaluation and prayer. Let's get started and discover what new beginnings are hidden behind the doors that rejection closes. Rejection is one of the situations that affect the human mind the most. It often brings with it perceptions of failure or inadequacy. However, developing a deep understanding of how to learn from it shows how valuable an experience rejection can actually be. First, our first reaction to rejection can often be defensive or vulnerable. Brothers and sisters, recognizing these moments, understanding and managing our emotional reactions can guide us through this challenging process. This process allows us to get to know ourselves better and discover our true emotional resilience. The teachings of Islam teach us how patience, fortitude and trust in Allah can be a shield in the face of every challenge. In times of rejection, remembering these teachings gives us inner peace and strength. Acting with the intention of seeking Allah's pleasure allows us to use these difficult times as learning opportunities. To manage this process, it is important to turn inward and do a personal accounting. In this way, we can see that behind every experience of rejection, there is wisdom and an opportunity for growth. Brothers and sisters, remember that every no can actually mean the opening of a new door for us. From this perspective, rejection can be seen as part of a bigger plan in our lives. Patience, patience, sabr, is considered a highly valued virtue in Islam, and its importance is emphasized in many verses and hadiths. In the Holy Quran, Allah praises those who are patient and gives them good news. For example, verse 153 of Surat al-Baqarah reads, O you who believe, seek Allah's help with patience and prayer. Surely Allah is with the patient. This verse explains how patience and prayer in the face of hardship and rejection are critical in invoking Allah's help. Patience is also a frequent theme in the Hadith literature. The Prophet, PBUH, said, Patience is half of faith, indicating the importance of patience in our faith. This shows that being patient, especially in the face of difficulties and rejection, strengthens our faith and increases our spiritual maturity. Showing patience in times of rejection not only protects us from the difficulty of the moment, but also leads to greater wisdom and understanding. Islamic teachings emphasize that patience is not only passive waiting, but also active resistance and submission to Allah. Brothers and sisters, these lessons show us that patience is not only important for dealing with difficulties, but also for shaping our character and increasing our spiritual depth. Thus, we can maintain our peace and fortitude even in the face of challenging experiences such as rejection. While we sleep comfortably at night in our own homes, oppression is happening somewhere. I invite you to write Free Palestine in the comments section below to raise our voice against this oppression. Now, let's continue where we left off, my brothers. Self-assessment. Let's talk about the third topic, self-assessment. Islam emphasizes that the individual must constantly evaluate and improve himself. This process is especially important when experiencing rejection or failure. The Holy Quran states that man should be in constant self-examination. In verse 18 of Surah Al-Hashr, Allah states, O you who believe, fear Allah and let each one see what he has prepared for the morrow. This verse underlines the need for every Muslim to regularly review their behavior and intentions. In times of rejection or failure, this kind of introspection gives us the opportunity to see our own mistakes and shortcomings. 
Hadiths also emphasize this point. The Prophet, PBUH, said, Hold yourselves to account until the day of judgment. This reminds us that we should regularly evaluate our own behavior and goals. Brothers and sisters, when we experience rejection, it can be seen as an opportunity for personal growth. By honestly evaluating our own mistakes and weaknesses, we can be more aware and prepared for the future. Thus, rejection experiences become a tool to make us stronger and more successful. This process of self-evaluation not only makes us a better Muslim, but also helps us to be more effective and successful in all areas of life. Continuously improving ourselves in this way are the steps we take towards gaining Allah's pleasure. Communication in Relationships the fourth topic, communication in relationships, emphasizes the importance of clear and effective communication in situations of rejection. Islam prioritizes justice, understanding and compassion in interpersonal relationships and communication should be based on these values. The Holy Quran emphasizes the importance of softness and understanding in communication. In verse 159 of Surah Ali Imran, the Messenger of Allah, PBUH, is addressed as follows. It was by Allah's favor on you that you treated them softly. Had you been rude and hard-hearted, those around you would have turned away from you. This verse reminds people, especially those in leadership positions, to be soft and understanding in their dealings with people. Hadiths also emphasize how communication should be. The Prophet Sola Leo said, A Muslim is the brother of a Muslim. He does not oppress him, leave him alone, deny him or belittle him, emphasizing the importance of mutual respect. This Hadith teaches that we are responsible for each other and should always be honest and supportive in our communication, especially in difficult times. In times of rejection, especially in personal relationships, these Islamic teachings are invaluable. Even in the face of rejection, by keeping our communication open, respectful and understanding, we can preserve and even strengthen our relationships. Brothers and sisters, let us remember that every form of communication must be nourished by mutual respect and understanding. This is a fundamental principle for making our relationships sustainable and healthy, even in the face of rejection. Thus, even in the aftermath of rejection, we can build bridges in our relationships and overcome any difficulties with a communication that is characterized by understanding and compassion. This strengthens us in both our earthly and ethereal relationships. Coping with failure. Let's talk about the fifth topic, coping with failure. Islam tends to view failures and rejection as opportunities for personal growth and to grow closer to Allah. How we deal with these situations shows our ability to develop patience, understanding and resilience. The Holy Quran often emphasizes the importance of patience and trust in Allah in the face of failure and hardship. For example, verse 51 of Surat Al-Tawbah states, Say, we have no power over anything except Allah. We trust in Him and He is our Lord. This verse reminds us that all the difficulties in our lives are actually in line with Allah's will and that we can overcome them by trusting in Him. Hadiths also emphasize the importance of being patient in difficult times and learning from failures. The Prophet Sallallahu said, Whoever is patient, Allah will make it easier for him to be patient. No one has been given a better and wider gift than patience. This hadith emphasizes that patience is not only a way to get through difficult times, but also one of the most precious gifts Allah has given us. Brothers and sisters, in times of failure and rejection, we can overcome these difficulties by strengthening our faith in Allah and turning to Him more and more. These processes shape our character and increase our spiritual maturity. From this perspective, every failure and rejection has the potential to make us a better person. Therefore, when we face failure, Meeting these situations with patience and resignation can elevate us not only in this world, but also in the hereafter. 
Thus, every difficulty we experience becomes an occasion of mercy and wisdom for us. Goals and Guidance Let's talk about the sixth topic, goals and guidance. Islam teaches that the goals and directions in our lives should be shaped by the will of Allah. Moments of rejection and failure provide an opportunity to re-evaluate those goals and realize that perhaps Allah wants to guide us to a better path. The Quran emphasizes that Allah's plan is always for the best. Verse 216 of Surat al-Baqarah states, What you dislike may be good for you, and what you like may be bad for you. Allah knows you do not know. This verse exhorts us to be flexible in our goals and to see the events of our lives as part of Allah's greater plan. Hadith literature also states that failures and rejections can actually be a sign that Allah has something better planned for us. The Prophet, PBH, said, If Allah closes one door, He opens another. This means that the difficulties and closed paths we face can actually lead us to a better outcome. Brothers and sisters, with this perspective, instead of being discouraged by rejection or failure, we can see these situations as Allah's efforts to guide us to the right path. Perhaps the area in which we failed was not the best for us, and Allah is leading us to a more suitable, more blessed path. In the process, constantly reviewing our goals and making Allah's pleasure the ultimate goal can create a deep sense of meaning and fulfillment in our lives. Thus, every moment of rejection and failure actually becomes a step that develops us personally and spiritually, bringing us closer to Allah. This is important in order to gain an otherworldly perspective beyond our worldly goals. Religious Teachings under the seventh heading, Religious Teachings, let us take a closer look at how Islam guides us in the face of rejection and adversity. Islam teaches that such experiences play important roles in our spiritual and moral development. The Holy Quran emphasizes that every situation in our lives has a wisdom from Allah and that His plans are always beyond our understanding. Surah Yusuf tells the story of Prophet Yusuf's hardships and how he was eventually exalted and honored. In this surah, we are told that although Prophet Joseph faced many hardships, such as being thrown into a well by his brothers, captivity, and unjust imprisonment, he remained patient and trusted in Allah and was eventually put in charge of the treasury of Egypt. This parable shows how difficulties and rejection can actually be blessings and how patience can overcome them and lead to success. Similar teachings are found in the Hadiths. The Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, emphasizes the importance of overcoming difficulties and showing patience by saying, whoever shows patience in the face of a calamity, Allah will reward him for his patience and show him a way out. Brothers and sisters, these religious teachings guide us through every moment of difficulty and rejection we face in our lives. These moments strengthen our devotion to God, increase our patience and develop our spiritual depth. Thus, these challenges bring us closer not only to worldly success, but also to eternal salvation and God's pleasure. Each step in these processes is a valuable learning and purification opportunity for us. Community and support. Let us examine Islam's emphasis on the impact of community on the individual and the importance of social support systems. Islam emphasizes the role of the individual within the community and the critical role of community support in coping with personal challenges. The Holy Quran encourages Muslims to support one another. In verse 2 of Surah Al-Ma'idah, Allah states, And do not sin in helping those who are enemies of one another, and invoke Allah's wrath against you, and help one another in goodness and piety, and do not help one another in sin and enmity. This verse emphasizes that cooperation within the community should only be in goodness and piety, and stresses the importance of Muslims supporting each other. Hadiths are also clear on this matter. The Prophet, 
PBUH, emphasizes the importance of mutual support and solidarity within the community by saying, a Muslim is the brother of a Muslim. He does not oppress him or leave him without help. This implies that the community should support individuals, especially in difficult times. In times of rejection or failure, community support is especially vital. Our brothers and sisters can cheer us up, guide us, and provide us with the necessary resources to cope with difficulties. This support is not limited to material assistance, but also includes spiritual support, prayer, and encouragement. It is therefore important that each person in the community fulfills his or her responsibility to his or her brothers and sisters and is ready to support one another. This not only strengthens the unity of the community, but also helps each individual to overcome personal challenges more easily. Community in Islam functions not only as a social unit, but also as a spiritual support network, thus contributing to the success of everyone, both in this world and in the hereafter.